Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm recreating Misha Barton as Marissa Cooper in The O.C. I had actually never seen The O.C. up until this summer. Um, I kind of missed out on the hills, Laguna Beach, and yeah, The O.C. That time, I was a little too young and my parents were strict. I wasn't allowed to watch uh, The Hills or anything. Yeah, they'd always be like, no, go upstairs and my sister would watch. So honestly, looking back, I probably would have been really influenced because I was like super influenced by the click books and movie. So like probably good call, but I had a blast watching it now. And um, I loved Melissa. Why do I keep calling her Melissa? You guys don't know how many times I freaking try to film this intro. I keep calling her Melissa. Like I swear I'm a fan of the show. Anyway, um, I loved her earlier looks because it was just very doable and carefree, definitely Cali girl. So I know this is a little bit summery, but um, it's still it's still very sunny in California right now and it is a classic look. So I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe for more pop culture tutorials. Ring that little bell notification button so that you don't miss an upload and let's get into it. I've already applied some L'Oreal Colorista in gold throughout my hair. I usually spray this on after I style my hair, but it looks really pretty and really natural to spray it in and then brush through for some highlights that wash out in the shower. My hair, of course, is not as light as Marissa Cooper, but I thought it did lighten it up a bit and give a sun-kissed look. Now for my base, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I haven't grabbed this for a while and I think it really suits any glowy, dewy look. If you have fairly even skin, this can just add a bit of blur and glow overall to the skin on its own and it looks stunning. But then I am using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. If you like sweet smelling scents, you'll love to apply this. It smells like peaches and sweet fig cream, but if scented products are not your favorite thing, then I would recommend Bare Minerals new tinted moisturizers. But anyway, I love this one personally and a tiny amount gives coverage while still looking natural. It is a foundation, but I use it thinned out to be more like a BB cream or tinted moisturizer for all over. Gotta stay hydrated. I'm making it a goal to not survive off of coffee only. And I love Tarte Shape Tape. This has lasted me so long because I just use a very small amount and it'll really brighten up the skin and it blends well into any foundation that I've tried. One of my favorite high-end powders that visibly boosts radiance is the Charlotte Tilbury Genius Magic Powder. I used the last bit in this tutorial and I'm not going to rebuy it until I'm out of my other favorite, the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, because both are really similar and have ultra-refined powders that have light reflecting particles and blur out imperfections, giving quite a hyper-real, non-cakey finish. Again, not a lot of coverage, but just a really nice overall finish to the skin. And Marissa has such a beautiful sculpted face, it's very different. Um, in terms of facial structure than I have. So I'm gonna do a couple little tricks to make myself have a little bit more of her likeliness, but I do want this to be wearable and um, yeah, not go with too, too much contouring. But to contrast that highlight, I'm starting with one of my favorite bronzers. This is the shade Warmth from Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzers. Thought this was a perfect product name for an OC inspired video. And I really love these bronzers. They're matte and I used faux tan in the Brooke Shields Blue Lagoon look for more of a cool toned, deeper tan. Contouring my nose with the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Mine smashed in the pan, I don't know how, but I find my high-end products that cost so much break way more than any of my drugstore stuff. They're cursed, I swear. But let me know if that happens to you guys too. And anyways, I'm just following a picture and creating more of a defined nose bridge with some shadowing between the eyes up to the bridge. And um, I'll deepen this up with eyeshadow a bit later on. And I'm creating a shadow lower on my tip to make it look a bit flatter. All minor details that you definitely don't need to do if you're just, you know, trying to recreate a summery look, but it does help look a little bit more like Misha in a subtle way. And freckles! I love the look of these bigger sun-kissed freckles, mainly on the nose, so I'm recreating with my fave benefit precisely my brow in shade 3.5. Once you add in the freckle shapes, go over with your finger to help melt the product and it makes the dots look a lot more natural. Still using the product, I'm lightly adding some hair-like strokes to the brows in sparse areas, keeping them natural and a bit straighter with the tail. And then with the same contour shade, I'm going to add more definition to my cheekbones now. Mine are naturally a lot lower and more apple-like, so I'm cutting them off a bit higher and then fading downwards towards the mouth. I 
actually really like how this turned out. And then the most glowy, easy to use product ever is the new Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm Beauty Light Wand. Whenever I use this to highlight or the other one um, that you might have seen me use, Spotlight, which is the original one, I get tons of compliments on my skin or makeup just because it really gives a beautiful glow that doesn't look powdery like a highlight. It's just reflective and makes the skin look more bouncy. So instead of using it as a highlighter all over, I used it as a base for my blush to make whatever shade that I end up using glow a little extra. Right on the apples, I used a bright pink Milani baked blush. Don't sleep on these blushes, guys. They are inexpensive and stunning. They're one of my favorite um, blushes out there. And then going off of the screenshots, I kept the color mainly on the apples of the cheeks. The eyeshadow takes two seconds. Sometimes Marissa had a wash of peach all over the lid, but in this party scene, it was more of a light wash of taupe in the crease and then a reflective lid. I'm using this Revlon palette and starting with the deepest shade to create dimension to the contour of the eye socket and then with the lighter taupe in the palette fading on the outer V. Another drugstore product that I thought was a good color for this look is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Gilded Rose. This gives that metallic light reflective look. I did notice when I was blending these out it had a bit of glitter in it so if you want more of a metallic look without any glitter, I really like the Charlotte Tilbury um, little pots they have in jean but it's quite a bit pricier and doesn't come with an easy applicator so this is a great option. And I'm focusing on the lash line and then to keep it still natural I'm bringing in some of that Peach Gasm Beauty Light Wand on the rest of the lid to have more of my skin tone pop coming through while still having the reflective texture. Quickly doing the other eye. Smudging out that liner so it looks worn in and natural. I like to wipe off most of the product on the wand and do just a natural coat. I like adding more drama to the eye with a bit of contour and highlight rather than tons of volume to the lashes because it's just more comfortable and I don't know, I'm just not a huge mascara girl, but you can always add more. Misha Barton has a wide set mouth with a V Cupid's bow. I'm starting with a pinch, a pinchy, <laughs> a peachy pink liner. I used Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and I often grab for NYX liner pencils as well if you wanna go more inexpensive. And lips, I was tempted to find a Chanel lipstick because in this party scene, Marissa is applying like an expensive looking lipstick, but the Glossy Lips is super 2000, so I went with one of my favorite products. This is a Plump In Color by YSL. It's super comfortable. It's a multitasking lip balm that gently plumps the lips while giving also a glossy finish and some color. So I thought I'd go with this one because you could wear this to the beach and not feel like you're wearing a sticky gloss. Also, this smells like summer to me. It's very fruity and sweet. Now that we have a beachy and preppy mixed makeup look, it's time for hair, which I think really brings the whole Marissa look together. I've already applied the gold spray brushed out as I mentioned, and I'm creating volume up top with my favorite OGX hairspray and a teasing comb. I've seen these curling irons on Instagram a lot as well, and I wanted to try it out. I got it from Sephora, but I'm actually not that sold on it yet. I think I want to try a smaller wand because my hair doesn't curl super well with this size of wand anyway or curling iron, but the design is stunning. And once the hair is off of the barrel, spray with hairspray and tease a bit for that undone look. Classic, I'm pinning my hair shorter by adding a bobby pin to my dress. Yes, this is how I fake shorter hair most of the time. And just work with the hair, adjusting it so some of the ends show at the length that you want. This is really trial and error and it isn't the most practical because the hair can't move from off of your shoulder. But hey, it's fun to see yourself with different hairstyles without the commitment. And boom, moving on to the other side, starting with a bang-like section, just curling and then pinning.
then like before, we're curling in the same direction so that now the curls are moving away from the face on this side. I find curling with irons harder to figure out which way the curl will actually turn out, so to make it simple, have the clasp closest to you, clamp the hair from the back, and then roll the hair upwards for each curl around the whole head. I did think even though I used quite a bit of hairspray and some teasing, it didn't look quite beachy enough. So I went in and I added a sea salt spray because I felt like it would just, you know, add to the very beachy look. And I love my hair at this length. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a little bit more mature and I may cut my hair like this one day, but I do love having long hair for recreations. enjoyed this Marissa Cooper look and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture videos let me know in the comments down below what your favorite you know early 2000s show was um what was I even watching back then I don't know like Hannah Montana was that out yet but anyways I wanted to share with you a scent because I love doing that I know I forget sometimes I just don't have like that many scents to pick a new one each time but I think this one is really great for this look this is honey by Marc Jacobs and it's super cute I did break it a little bit if you can see this is really wobbly my whole perfume collection fell and most of them survived some of them definitely didn't but this one saved and I wanted to share another lip and cheek combo I'm sorry this is like long I just am having fun with it so in this scene after her little um you know oh wait I'm not gonna spoil anything in case you haven't seen it I'm assuming you guys have seen it after her first time <laughs> she looks really pretty and if you want to go uh, with more of this style for inspiration well you can go with California by Benefit this gives a little bit more of a coral kiss to the cheeks rather than pink that I went with and it's just beautiful and very California and then for lips I went with this ink velvet this is awesome, it's super lightweight and gives more of a matte finish, so those are really pretty products as well. And speaking of K-Beauty, I am doing a K-Beauty transformation coming up, and I went to South Korea, um, I went to Seoul, and that was insane, so yeah, I'll have some vlogs. There's just so much stuff coming up, I just don't know how I'm gonna edit it all. But anyway, <laughs> if you try out any of these recreation looks, please tag me because I love to see your faces and feature you wearing my merch as well. So here are a couple of my favorite photos. I will see you guys in my next video.